Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of AC Unity. Uh, we are still hunting collectibles. We are in what is supposed to be uh, a very hard, or not collectibles, Nostradamus Enigma, sorry. We are supposed to be in what is, um, we are in what is supposed to be a very hard Nostradamus Enigma, the Leo one. The first riddle we finally solved with, yeah, unfortunately a little bit of help uh, of online second riddle was also pretty hard and in between episodes i've did quite some research and i think i can i know the location uh and i think i can also say that i myself have uh, figured it out although yeah there may be um a way that you could say that the Google result that I got really pushed me a bit in the direction, but I'm pretty sure I would have found it otherwise. The thing is, the riddle itself is this one. The martyrs of Herod, the martyrs of Herod in their ageless temple haunt the alchemist's tones with their macabre, soundless dance. All right, so I was like the Martyrs of Herod. That is some kind of a Judean king, a Jewish king, um, who actually killed babies uh, just to, uh, during uh, Jesus's birth, just to, uh, yeah, I think make sure uh, Jesus got killed or something. Uh, in their ageless temple, I couldn't really find uh, a clue for that. There, um, one moment. We do have over here the temple. That's like a, a, a fortress turned prison, I guess, but it's not really relevant for this clue in their ageless temple because it's not really ageless. Now, then we have Haunt the Alchemist's Tones. Um, I checked a lot on the uh, database i really uh, yeah more or less read it entirely including people and including paris stories and apparently clues can also be in uh, paris stories although this one did put me on the wrong track a bit anyways i was reading them all um, and then i came to mr nicolas flamel so the clue is haunt the alchemist stones with their macabre soundless dance so there's an alchemist involved and uh, Flamel apparently he had the Rosetta Stone or something but anyways he, he was some kind of an alchemist and he got a book with some Jewish wisdoms or something but there is a, there is a link between Nicola Flamel and Jewishness I, I would say or the yeah a, a religious link um, in his youth, Flamel had a strange dream in which an angel showed him an extraordinary, extraordinary book. It was this book, Book of Abraham, Eliazar, and I think Eliazar may have been uh, a Jewish, that he would later discover, discover the secrets of alchemy. He went to uh, a pilgrimage to uh, Jean Jacques de Compostelle, where he met with blah blah blah, a Jewish Kabbalist, again Jewish, who would give him certain keys for interpreting the book. Uh, blah blah blah. Flamel is credited with the reconstruction in the uh, of the Church of Saint Jacques de la Boucherie, the remains of which now stand as the Jean Jacques Tower. Though some say that the philosopher's stone, that the philosopher's stone made Flamel immortal, he is known that uh, he died on March 22, 1418. He is buried alongside his wife in the present-day Cluny Museum in Paris. So this gives, gives two locations. One is the Jacques Tower. Uh, as the Saint Jacques Tower, and the other is the Cluny Museum. So I went to the uh, Saint Jacques Tower, which is over here. Um, yeah, you don't really see a description there, but it is uh, there. To Saint Jacques, Tower of Saint Jacques. It was a church, but the church was dis demolished and they only left one tower standing. Here, the alchemist Nicolas Flamel was originally buried under the floor of the church. Um, so I went there, but nothing there. There is uh, an enigma on top of it, but not the correct one. 
So remember that for later, there is an enigma on top of it. Then I went to the Clooney Museum, which is... Over here somewhere. Over here it is. Nothing there except uh, some um, yeah, uh, enemies, so it's annoying fighting. Then I googled the Clooney Museum and it actually uh, had an address in the church, the Saint Pre or whatever it's called. I think it's this one. Saint Germain de Pre. So I went over here, nothing here. Uh, we already, I think, found uh, Nostradamus Enigma in this church. I'm not sure whether one landmark can have more than one um, Enigma uh, solutions, but uh, it wasn't there. So then I was again stuck. And then I googled again the first sentence of uh, the riddle, the Martyrs of Herod. And that uh, gave the first article was indeed the massacre of the innocents and that is that story about babies up till two years old were all massacred uh, i think just in a hunt to get uh, the baby jesus also uh, killed uh, and then the next hit on google was um cemetery des innocents and then below it my eyes i didn't want to look uh, for a cheat but below it my eyes felt on a link to some kind of link related to ac unity so i was really sure yeah then that really makes sense so that is where we are going now to the cemetery uh the innocent and i always forget where it is i've been there many many times here it is Cemetery de Saint Innocence. That's what we are going to check out now. But the thing, my learning moment is that indeed the uh, database can provide clues, but they can also provide misleading clues because the riddle really clearly states haunts the alchemist's tones. So there, there's a link to an alchemist. Flamel, the, besides uh, La Fauche or something, he's the only alchemist that is clearly described. Another one as well, but there's not really that much in his bio. But Flamel is clearly described as an alchemist having a link to Judah, like that book of uh, Alatsayar or something. And the riddle is also about the martyrs of Herod, that is Judah and an alchemist. So the, and the biography gives two locations. So you go to those locations, like the Hotel de Cluny, uh, and that, that uh, modern day address, Saint Germain de Pre, and that tower where he was originally uh, uh, buried, the Tour de uh, the Saint Jacques or something. I forgot the name, wait one sec, I'm just curious. Was it the Tour de... Yeah, Saint Chuck. Um, but that is that is all just misleading, because the the only relevant so there are multiple clues in the riddle uh, with the alchemists, uh, and then there are uh, yeah the ageless temple. Yeah, it's it's a very vague clue. It is a cemetery, so that's I think considered ageless. Uh, the the last sentence with their macabre soundless dance i have no idea i was thinking about flags what may what does it make a sound but does move yeah flags or something i don't know but i don't really see the relevance of that sentence but actually regardless of, of more clues in the riddle only the first sentence points to the location the rest is more misleading that whole link to the alchemist, it's misleading. Unless, and I didn't did do that much research, the guy first, the Flamel guy, first he was uh, buried over here and maybe after they renovated or destroyed this church, he maybe also got moved to the uh, Cemetery des Innocents. That could be, I'm, I'm not sure. Or of course, it's also pretty close by each other. So it could be he is still here and that's the, um, children of the innocent massacre are buried over here and they haunt him by um, uh, yeah, being ghosts or whatever haunting his, uh, his, uh, his, his, his rest in peace time in death but yeah I would say that that whole story about uh, the, the massacre of Desino Sons it should actually I think would be uh, 
near Jerusalem, near the in the Middle East, not in Paris. So it still is quite fake. But the only um, concrete clue in the riddle, the Martyrs of Herod, that is the most relevant one that points you, I think, to the right direction, which will be this uh, Cemetery des Innocents. Let's read about it. Originally, the street leading to Saint Denis outside the ramparts of the Roman capital, which mainly occupied the left bank, served as the city's cemetery. Just to say you're about to read my favorite historical nickname of all time. Louis VI the Fat, who had already overseen the construction of Blazol, had Saint Innocent built in 1130. Its cemetery would become the cemetery of all the churches of Paris, which made for an unprecedented concentration of dead bodies. A plague epidemic could bring about thousands of deaths in the space of just a few weeks. In the 1400s, improvements were made, partly paid for and designed by Nicolas Flamel. Ah, okay. So this is indeed, I should have read this one. This is another link to Nicolas Flamel, the alchemist. Uh, the hole was overseen by a macabre mural of the dance of death. Just prior to the revolution, the bodies were disinterred and moved to the catacombs beneath Paris. Yes, all right, so there is another link here to Flamel. So it does tie into each other. Um, all right, let's uh, go there. I must say it's a pretty interesting uh, riddle course I'm making up excuses why it's very hard because I had very uh, trouble finding it and I do think in the end I found it myself although I must say my on the Google result with that first result being uh, the massacre of Des Innocents and then the second result Cemetery Des Innocents I think that would have put me on the right track but what really helped unconsciously was that third result with something blah 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 AC unity then it really cemented in my head like oh yeah it really should be there so it's semi solved myself um anyways let's get over there sorry for the long rant by the way but i like to talk it out of my system and i have to go for a very brief uh sanitary stop i will be back in within 30 seconds one second right back at it here we go i'm actually pretty happy that i found this one although i'm a bit anxious about the next one because man they can take quite some time but i really like the concept of them absolutely and also the fact that they're pretty hard so many modern games are dumbed down this really uh, throw, it throws you in the deep end Figure it out yourself, is actually what the game says, more or less. Pretty damn cool. Alright, of course I will be totally baffled if it's not here, but I cannot imagine it's not here. Oh, sorry. Immediately, oh, I was pretty sure... There was a shopkeeper over here. I wanted to... Ah, there he is. Alright, no need. I'm fully stopped. Alright, here we go. Cemetery des Innocents. There are a 
a lot of skulls over here. Yes, I hear it. There it is. Very nice. Right. Now we go for the final riddle of Leo. I'm making a picture because I'm pretty sure I will have to look at it a lot. And then I don't need to go that often in the menu. Alright. Here we go. I am anxious about it. In the belly of the world. Ah, I did read something about this. Also, yeah, that's maybe semi a cheat. Somehow I was in a forum and this came by. But this, the belly of the world, or I think of the belly of Paris it was. That is uh, a market. So that is the market we just went through. Because all the food is there and everybody does his groceries there uh, daily. The Saints of the Holy Stack. I know there is like a coat of buffer maps. Yeah, I'm not really sure. There is an, a database entry of somebody who is indeed depicted sometimes with um, horns or something. There's there's something related to a stack in the database, I'm sure. Uh, still waits for his austral hands. To reach the godly heavens. What the hell is Ostro? That's heavenly, right? The thing with these riddles is... They don't really lend themselves well for a playthrough. Because it could be that I have to scan through... The... Um, the database a lot just like the previous episodes and that's really not fun that's just me reading the uh, austral is relating to the southern hemisphere I do have that clue of the market, I think. Alright, so Southern Hemisphere. Let's just assume that's the southern part of the market. Yeah, that's where we are now. Ah, Eglise Saint Eustache. I think that was the, the link with, with a stack or a deer. One second. The Saint of the Holy Stack, yes. The second biggest church in Paris is situated at the center of Les Halles. Started out as a modest chapel dedicated to Saint Agnes, a Roman martyr. Later relics of Saint Eustache were brought to the church and that saint, whose symbol is a large stack deer overseen by a cross, became the church's namesake. With the development of the central market of Les Halles, the parish church became too small. The current church took 105 years to construct. Its Gothic structure and Renaissance detail, to say nothing of its dimensions, make it a surprising edifice. Moreover, it curves to the north since it was built along the line formed by the Rue Trené, the Rambouteau, since no one uh, wanted to expropriate the shopkeepers who were installed there. It is missing its southernmost tower. Ah, and it also says still waits for his austral hand. Yes, so that is the southern tower. Uh, austral is southern, so 
in the belly of the world, that's the market, the saint of the holy stack, that's the church, still waits for it, its for his austral hand, its southern hand, its tower, to reach the godly heavens, to point to be closer to the heavens, that's the tower. Nice. You got this one in the pocket. Yeah, it's a Alright, so that's you can see it can be hard, it can also be easy. There we go. Very nice. Um Memory complete. I think seven more to go. Six more to go. All right, another four out of five. Libra, solve the riddles to recover the, uh, the fragments of the Ronald Bams disc. That's like a generic description. All right, let's find Libra. There it is. Shit. I forgot to um, make a picture of... Ah, no. We were not even there. I wanted to say make a picture of the riddle. But we didn't even open it yet. Um, let's see where we need to go. On the roof on the building. To the right front. From right. Making a picture. One second. Like so. Uh, palace once divided, united by the fourth Henry. All right. So we have to read the palace entries and look for Henry. Stone couples salute their salute their doomed king. For his final walk along the trees, stone couples salute their doomed king for his final walk along the trees. King once united, divided by people's will. Yeah, I know there is like this statue over here, plus the vogue. This square was originally named the Place Royale. But, ah, Henry by Henry IV, who oversaw the design of its 36 pavilions. The king had requested perfect symmetry, four arcades and two rows of high windows for each pavilion. The square obliterated the field where some decades before Henry II had suffered a mortal wound in a jousting tournament and died in a building nearby. Um, with the advent of the revolution, it was no longer acceptable to carry a name Honoring royalty and the square underwent several name changes before in 1792 settling upon a name to honor the regiment of volunteers from the Vogue's who came to save the Republic. Since the historian doesn't want to be specific about the Republic was saved, what the Republic was saved from, I'm going to let you pick your preference from the following list. Austrians, Marchians, Zombie Hordes. Alright, where the riddle was, palace once divided, united by the fourth Henry. Yes, this is Henry the Fourth. Uh, stone couples salute their doomed king yes that are i think the arcades uh the four arcades and two rows of high windows for each pavilion in perfect symmetry for his final walk along the trees now you see the trees and you see the statue he's taking a walk king once united 
divided by people's will. I think that may refer to the fact that the people actually wanted to uh, rename the square because there was no, uh, yeah, there was a lot of protest against the monarchy. Anyways, I am pretty sure it is here. So, let's go there. fire spitter I don't hear the sound effect usually there's a pretty cool uh, now it's there so cool all these animations the music there's so much going on in this game it's amazing I know there are episodes that I'm really like hitting on the game with a bit of controls and sometimes the um, setup of the missions like these big street brawls that I hate but yeah I must not forget how amazing the game is as well check this out although that's a bit buggy over there the lantern is missing direction I'm not even that sure I think I am but no I think I'm too far already I'm way too far I'm such an idiot all right next one to the left here we go But anyways, I also must not forget to be positive about this game because, yeah, just check it out. It's just amazing. The atmosphere, the detail. It's quite impressive. Alright, I think it's be this is the um, outer edge, I think, of the square. Yes, here we go. And there we have... I think Henry the Fourth. Only problem is that I don't hear <coughs> Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I don't hear the uh, Enigma solution sounds. I, I indeed, I was already like I've already checked out this statue a couple of times in the context of other riddles, and I never saw any Enigma clue on it. Maybe it's just somewhere around here. Oh, sorry. Arno. still missing something from the riddle. Let's first just quickly check out this walkway.
tabak and what does it say on the top of it? I was wondering that before. Uh, over here. This. They released. Alright, I have no idea. I cannot read it. Anyways, I don't think it's over here. We now made the full circle. So, yeah. That's a bit um, annoying. Let's get to the outside of it. I sh should have seen it already or hear it. All right, then I would think maybe the paper over there what we need yeah then the only thing I can think of is the roofs all right here we go again with the riddle palace once divided <coughs> united by the fourth Henry Henry stone couples salute their doomed king for his final walk along the trees King once united, divided by people's will. All right, is there any statue? Stone couples salute their doomed king. Ah, yeah, I've already checked it out. But he is saluting to somebody over there. Because there's one item of this riddle I don't understand, and that is palace once divided, united by the fourth Henry. Was this a palace? Oh wait, like so. This square was originally named the Place Royale by Henry IV, who oversaw the design of his 36 pavilions. The king had requested perfect symmetry, four arcades and two rows, blah, blah, blah. The square obliterated the fields. With the end, of it, it was no longer acceptable to carry a name honoring royalty and the square under name changes. Yeah, so it says Place Royale, but I think there's also a Palace Royale. Check that out. That would be indeed more in line with the riddle. Here it is. The Palais Royal was the nerve center of the revolution under the auspices of its owner Philippe Duke of Orléans, cousin, cousin of Louis the Sixteenth. Finding himself in debt, Filippo d'Orléans lined the three arcades with 60 shops which he let out to restore his finances. The galleries were bustling up until 2 in the morning. It was a non-stop party in the meeting place for the capitals. Many crooks, swindlers, old leechers and young debauched. An unusual timepiece was installed. A small cannon that fired exactly at noon triggered by the sun itself. Yeah, we already found uh, an, an enigma in this palace, and I don't really see a link to Henry. 
Paris really hasn't changed a bit. Its regal name was impossible to maintain under the revolution and so it became the Palais Égalité. Now, there was already a riddle related to this one. Uh, and there's one thing, learning moments. What is an old lecture? Lecture. One second. Lecture, a lecherous man, a vile, drunken lecture. Meaning, a man given to excessive sexual indulgence, a lascivious or licentious man. it's here actually I do see something of Henry over here in 1612 Marie de Medici widow of Henry IV of France purchased houses there from the Duke of Pigny Luxembourg to build a sumptuous palace to the designs of French architect Salomon de Bros she wanted to call it the Medici palace but the Parisians who hated her kept using the name Luxembourg yes she's our blah 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 in the game uh, Luxembourg was briefly converted into the Maison Nationale de Sûreté, a prison. Danton was there, out, blah blah blah. In 1801, Bonaparte offered the building to the French Senate, the function it still serves today. Blah blah blah. But this one also has a link. Stone couples salute their doomed kings. Yeah, I do see king. I do see stone couples. But the thing is, or stone stone statues on the palace itself. In 1612, Marie de Medici, widow of Henry IV, purchased houses there to build a sumptuous palace to the designs of French, blah, blah, blah. So this was built after, because it was by the widow of Henry IV. So that is after his passing away. So that's not really saluting him for his final walk. And, but it does say palace once divided. If it first were houses, then it were divided little units that became one palace. So I'm going to check this one out as well in the next episode because I'm hitting the uh, 40 minute marker. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Do I made some progress? Hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.